hi friends how are you so in this topic we going to learn the dependent drop downs in php without ajax okay so before going to start with the topic if you are new to my channel so subscribe my channel so that you can get latest update related topics regarding php and other technology so moving toward our topic so let's start now okay friends so la let's start with our topic for uh, dependent drop down as you are seeing the screen uh, google search engine in the search engine just type a website called tech1.in because uh, it is a blog of mine uh, that uh, in this blog i have uh, written everything that uh, regarding that topic so you are going to get a php menu here uh, there you can check uh, all related regarding php topic if you have any doubt or any query regarding topic if it consists in this you can go through it so today we are going to check with dependent drop down list in php but without ajax okay so just click on this link okay here uh, see uh, total description is given regarding how we can do it and uh, how we can achieve this and how we can populate the drop down you can uh, go through the article you can come to know everything but uh, we going to check this in a practical manner how to we can do this okay so i am just opening the root folder in which i am executing that code so that you can come to understand very easily uh, actually uh, in this i am using xam okay uh, and in that xam i am executing that uh, small project if you don't know xam then obviously i am going to give uh, in the description section from where you can download that xam and you can install it and uh, so that how i have achieved this executing the php means uh, this project you can do on your local system okay so it is in the c section here it is a xam software so click on the htdocs folder okay htdocs uh, it is over here see php drop down dependent drop down and this it's a php file we going to execute all this code over here so uh, this folder name is php drop down so for this i have created a, a professional domain on my local host that is in the host file you have to declare um, declare that uh, ip according to which you can achieve it okay means uh, if you check on your google search engine means how to convert the local host domain into uh, professional domain domain you can come to understand okay so let's start with our topic so just uh, here if you go to see uh, we have i am in the drop down in the bottom section you will see this is two drop down that is one is country section and another one is state drop down means if you selecting the india country then according to which the india states get populated so how you can achieve this in php but without ajax that we are going to see okay so i am going to Uh, show you practically and uh, how see this is full code 
you come to understand over here this we have to execute it but before that I want to tell you that I have used two function in this that is one for country function that is for populating the drop down means all the countries in one drop down in that country function I am passing an array and uh, executing the for loop so that all the countries get uh, populated by calling this function in the select option similarly I have defined the state function in that also I am passing the array so on uh, selecting means selecting the select tag in the HTML elements uh, and passing on click of the ID means on getting on click of the on click functions I am calling this function first of all uh, country function and in that country functions according to which I am populating the state function similarly in the state function I am passing this array so according to which the state get populated okay so let's start with this uh, what how the layout and what are the description in this section this uh, this is the styling part of the uh, means layout means how it is look like as you have seen in the drop down uh, it's a uh, dependency this these are the CSS for this which I have uh, defined in the top section only you can add it and below is the this select tag okay this is the country this is for country and this is for state okay and for different different uh, state I have defined for it according to which you have to define it suppose for country India you have to pass the state for it okay variable I have defined according to which you have to add for it okay so I have added and uh, see these are the country which we have to pass this country array into the uh, country function so this is the script in which I have uh, passing this country array into the country function and these are the state which get populated after selecting one of the country from first drop down and it uh, get populated its state in the second drop down by passing the array into the state option okay so I am going to copy this full code and uh, execute we going to execute in the means totally in that file so that you come to understand very properly to showing this demo section I have created this video okay so copy this and open that file which I have uh, in the htdocs php dependent drop down in the editor notepad okay just so copy the code part and paste it over here okay just paste okay I have pasted okay now we are going to see whether this code is working or not all the code function which I have already defined over here okay so let's move to the browser section so that you can come to understand very easily so our folder name is uh, it's php dependent drop down okay so php dependent drop down and execute the code so let's see it is working or not see the code is executing myths our code is uh, working successfully suppose I am going to select here United States so it's 
saying that you have clicked the United States okay and according to which here the countries means states of the New York means state of the United States get populated similarly for if we go for India you have clicked the India and it going to show the India state so uh, finally for UK you have clicked the UK and uh, it's showing the country states of the UK okay so finally we done with uh, the example means practical of dependent drop down in PHP but without Ajax now you can come to understand that how two functions are working by passing the array of uh, countries and in that country if you are selecting one of the country that then it is calling this uh, state function and passing the every state array array of a single country uh, states into the second drop down okay you come to understand if you go to that article okay and if you have any query regarding other php related queries you can surely comment below in the comment section okay here or uh, if you want any php related topic you can click the menu section php and you will get all the related topic regarding php and all and if you have any query regarding other topics you can also go through it okay friends then finally if you like this video please like and if you have any comment if you have any query regarding this surely you can comment on it i'm going to surely going to answer you so finally thank you for watching this video hope you will like it okay bye